Hi, and uh, welcome to a video tutorial on how to share a Google Drawing. My name is Tyler Osborne. So the way to share a Google Drawing is pretty much the same as sharing a Google Doc, a Google Slide, and a Google Sheet. You have some options in Google Drive, but you also have some options from within the document itself. So let's start with the options in Google Drive. If I right click on my drawing file here, I have the Share button, and I have the Get Shareable link, just like on the other ones. Let's go into the Share menu. So when this comes up, we get the familiar screen, and I like to pick on my friend April here. So I click on April's name after starting to type it. I can add a little bit of an email, and I can change what kind of access that she has. Right now it's set to edit. I think that's the default. But I could also change it to comment if I wanted her to comment on something, or into the view mode. If you take a look at the uh, top here, there's a get shareable link button. This is the same button. Uh, as the one that was in the drop down menu. If you click on it, it just copies the link into your uh, clipboard. Let's take a look at the advanced options down at the bottom right. So if I click on that, here's the same link that you get from the share button, like the get shareable link button. Down here, if I had added April, she would be showing up right underneath me. This was a way that you can track who has access to your document. And uh, right here, it's set to private, but if I wanted to change that, I can press the Change button. So here are all the options. When it's off, it's only shared with the people that I specifically email it to. One above that is on, and anyone at Battle River with the link can see it. So if I wanted to send it to people at my school, but I didn't really want it to be easily found by everybody else at, um, in the school division, I could use this option right here. This protects it from being shared outside the school division as well. So if it's sensitive information that you don't necessarily want leaving Battle River, that's a good option. The link in the middle here, this is on and anyone at Battle River can see it and they can find it. So that means it's searchable. Above that, we have on and anyone with the link can have access, but it's not searchable. This is probably the one that I use the most when I'm sharing things with parents or just on the internet uh, during my when I'm using my, uh, my classroom websites, I will use this one. I don't want my content searchable on the internet, but I do want anybody that's on the web page to be able to see it. Then at the top here, this is just public to the web. It means it's indexed, it's searchable, anyone can access it. I don't really use that option very often. So I'm gonna put it back down to off, and I'm gonna back out of this. Let's take a look at the drawing itself. So here's the drawing all loaded up. It's the same file that we saw in Google Drive, and there's two different places that we can share this. We can go into the File menu, and here's the Share button, and it's gonna bring up the same window that we saw from inside Google Drive. The other place that we can share this over here is the Share button, and once again, it's the exact same window with all the same options, settings for privacy, all those things. So those are the three ways that you can share a Google Drawings. Thanks for watching.